Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Mutation Zoo. As promised, today's episode is going to be Dire Wolves. I told you guys it was going to be soon. I don't know if I'm releasing this one before our Patreon Mutation competition uh, or afterwards. But regardless, <laughs> today we are building the Dire Wolf Zoo enclosure, as well as getting fully mutated Dire Wolves. So... I kind of already talked about how I wanted to build this pen out in the Sabertooth video. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure to go ahead and check that out now. It's a pretty cool episode. We got some nice mutations in there. And um, what else? I don't know. It was a good episode. Go watch it. <laughs> but anyways, I really would like to do something similar to what I did with the Dire Wolves, which was actually build a like rock cave structure kind of thing. So I would like to try and replicate that with the dire wolves, although I'm not 100% sure if I will be able to. I think we should be able to without much of an issue. But um, basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of start building out the... Um, basically, I always what I always do is I always build the outskirts of this first, and then we can kind of get a good idea of how the pen's going to look once we actually get the circumference of it down. So I'm thinking I want to build the cave in this corner bit. So that way there's only like right here and there's some intrigue when you pass the saber tooth. Like what is, what is this? And then you have to walk out this way to kind of see what's going on. So I'm thinking in this corner, I want the rock cave to be along as well as like some rocks and trees and stuff going through the rest of this. But um, otherwise, it should be a good episode. We're going to get some fully mutated uh, dire wolves. So in between building, I'll be doing some mutations and stuff like that. So should be a good time. If you guys do find yourselves enjoying the video, don't forget to share support, smash that like button. Really helps me out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this pretty much built out as far as, um, you know, the outskirts of it, like the walkway where the customers are going to walk or customers or visitors, whatever you want to call them. Those people are going to walk, <laughs> and uh, we'll be back. All right, so just a quick update. I've got the outskirts of the pen fully made, and basically every place that doesn't have a wall is going to be some form of glass wall. So I think it'll look really good with a bunch of glass going across, although I do have to put some walls here like this. And then I'm still debating putting glass on these bits. I'm not 100% sure. I think it would look good with glass. And then obviously there's going to be glass going across here. Now, the question is, do I want glass here as well? I think, I do believe I do. Now, there's an issue with all of my zoo enclosures. People could die because I'm going to leave the railings here like in this spot. So people, if you want to die, you can jump off the railings and jump in like freaking do the Harambe thing. I don't know. <laughs> Kids jumping into zoo enclosures. I don't want to kill my dire wolves though. You'll just get eaten. So anyways, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start breeding up our dire wolves. And then when I get tired of that, I'm going to come back and start building. So <laughs> we'll be back. Okay. So dire wolves. They're majestic. Uh, we've got one baby already. Now what I've done to make life a little bit easier is somebody in the comments mentioned uh, it would be a lot easier if I just colored all of the dinos the same color so that way it would be a lot easier to tell what mutations we get. And I completely agree. So this is going to be the first episode with me trying to do that. So I've colored all of these dire wolves light gray on every zone. So this is, they're all the same color. It's light gray. And uh, you'd think it's white, but it's not. There's a difference between this white, which is the natural color of the dire wolf, and the albino white. And if we get the albino mutation, we should be able to tell the difference, um, I think. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But there is a baby dire wolf stuck in the booty here. There we go. I've also changed this pen a little bit in an effort to try and uh, prevent babies from getting stuck up here. Although it doesn't seem to be working very well. The plan was to hope that they would stay on this side and the babies would walk down into here. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, not quite working out. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, looks like we haven't gotten any mutations yet, but we will. Oh, you know what we need to do? 
We need to go find a frickin' Pego. We need our Pego sacrifice. We'll be back. Pego sacrifice incoming! We're gonna watch it up close and personal, like... Sacrifice and Pego to the gods. So, okay, we got one Pego. We've sacrificed that Pego to RN Jesus. But if it starts raining, we're gonna sacrifice one to the rain gods as well. Somebody <laughs> mentioned that, um in the Sabretooth episode. And I was like, you know what? Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe we need a separate pit for them. Uh, this door does not lead into anywhere that I need to go. I do not think we have any, yeah, we would not have any new things. We do need to get rid of those though. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wait, see what happens, and hopefully we'll have a mutation here soon. <laughs> Look what we got, ladies and gentlemen, Magenta Stripe. Nice. So we've got our first mutation, which is super exciting. We need to get it uh, unstuck from the air. I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, okay, we're good. Uh, you need to fall in the hole, which is what you're supposed to do to begin with, and you need to come this way. Come hither, child. Now, oh, hello, we got a blue stripe as well. Tiny human will be very happy to see that. Uh, so two mutations, very nice. I do, well, I don't think we got any more. There's only one more baby in there and it is definitely not mutated. So come on, nice. So we got two more zones we need to get. Obviously we also need a bunch more mutations, but regardless, not to, oh look, we got an imprint. They're so adorable. Oh, I want a doggo so bad. I just don't have time to get have one right now. Oh, it's so sad. Ah, these can be my doggos. I'll just hang out with them and, and cuddle them. Good ideas, right? All right, so not too bad so far. I'm just working on actually getting the rest of the railing bits on here. And I was kind of debating uh, putting some lookout stuff over here with maybe some aviary things because it would be a kind of cool lookout area. Maybe the Dimorphodons could go out here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now, though. But let me know what you guys think, if any of this small areas should be used for something. I don't know. But I'm not sure how I feel about the the stair bits right here with the glass. I mean, it doesn't look that great, but it, I mean, it makes it better for, like, if there were visitors, for them to actually be able to see the dire wolves. So I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. I'm thinking maybe I'll leave that there, but pick this one up. And I think it might actually look better that way. So if we pick this up and pick up, oh my God, it takes forever to pick up. There we go. And then go like that. And then maybe even just to make it look, e oh my God, why game? Why would there be a snap point inside the glass wall? Just riddle me that one. Okay. Anyways, I think that looks better. I mean, it obviously has no point because nobody can see it there unless they're the Jolly Green freaking giant. But regardless, it does look a little bit better, I think. Um, then obviously we've got all the stuff down here. So, so far, not too bad. Next, I gotta work on the actual uh, cave structure bit and then add some trees and stuff. So we're getting pretty close to being done. And I've also got to figure out exactly how the next pen is going to join this one. But um, let me know what you guys think so far and I will be back. We're back. And I do believe we've got a new a golden uh, orangey bit mutation. It's not golden, it's a, uh, I think it's brown. It's a brown color. Get down in your thing. Uh, there's also some more babies all stuck up in the joint. So, okay, it doesn't look like any of these are mutated. God, it's so, everything's so much better without the freaking UI on. Ugh. It just gets in the way, can't see nothing. So we got one more mutation, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I may, well, if I expand the amount of direwolves we have, this could quickly turn into a disaster, which I do not want. So I think I might stick with the same number we have. I am sticking the mutations in there, although they aren't on Wander yet because they're all the same zone, which is not beneficial to anybody yet. Um, anyways, we need more. We need more, all of them. All right, I just saw a mutation. I don't know, <gasps> there it is, it's gold, it's beautiful, oh my God. Yes, 
Jim Bob had a gold one on Scorched Earth, and I was a little bit jelly, but now I've got a gold one. And I'm happy. It's beautiful. Oh, we need... We need a fully gold one. I wonder how golden albino would look. I don't think the albino actually shows up on the nose stripe. We finally got our first body mutation. So, I get It's it's, un, it's gonna be up to RNGesus. We really don't have a choice. Where did, uh... What are you doing, home skillet? Why are you phasing through the floor, brah? Uh, it is gonna be up to RNGesus for the final mutations. But, um... I hope we get something with the gold. I don't know. We'll be back. Oh yeah! We got a red one! It's beautiful! It's beautiful! So, um... Oh, we got two red ones! Move or lose it! I need to touch the babies! You gotta imprint on them! Make them our friends! There we go! We got them! Alright, so we got a gold one and a red one. I really feel like gold and red would be a nice combination. We've got them doing their thing over there. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get these guys. Is there any more? I've kind of changed things up. I don't think it's getting any better. Uh, I really need to figure out a good dire wolf and saber tooth breeding pen. I, I've made one before and I've since forgot exactly what I did to, to make it super easy. But, um, if you guys could relinquish the other red one, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Actually, we only need one. Which one of you gets to live? You both get to live. It's cool. So, the rock wall. The most difficult part of the build. And, um, I think I'm gonna actually really enjoy the way this looks. So, for those of you that didn't watch the bear episode when I made this, the bear zoo enclosure episode, you should probably go watch it, because you're gonna be wondering, how the hell did you do this? No, um, but in all seriousness, uh, what we're gonna... Actually, you know what? I don't know if this is gonna work here. Um, uh, can we trick it to snap to this? Can we do it? I know if we get just... Right. Nailed it. I'm amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can get that to go all the way up now. Um, do you wish to snap to the pillar, kind pillar? Like, why do you hate me? I don't understand. Whatever. We'll just put one down here. And we'll go. And now you want to snap. Think you're cool, huh? Doing your own thing, Mr. Pillar. So, the goal right now is to kind of make this, like, rock, rock, ugh, rock structure going up. Oh, it worked. Okay, it doesn't look amazing. I'll give you that. But it doesn't look horrendous. Uh, <laughs> maybe. I guess. It could be worse. Is there any other stuff I can stuff in here to make it look a little bit better? Oh no, that looks worse. <laughs> uh, I'm trying. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, but anyways. Now we should, theoretically, be able to put one of these... Oh, 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 I didn't put the pillar up high enough. I'm there, it may have placed in the right spot. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So we'll go ahead and do this. Try and get it as far over as possible. And wham bam, thank you ma'am. We got a cool ass rock structure going on. So I kind of want to fill in all of this with rock. If it'll allow it to not look like absolute garbage. Which I think we're doing an okay job of so far. So far, so good. We'll just mix a couple different types of rock in there. Um, yeah, I think it's coming out not so bad. Not too shabby at all, I think. A little bit of the rocks going in there. Um, I would like to cover up all of the wood, but I just, I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, but if we put another pillar right here like this and have it go all the way up. That might actually be too close. Ah, it should be fine. And then we'll go ahead and just snap these going up again. Now, if you guys are wondering what this is from, I do believe this is from the eco, one of the eco's mods, whether it's, it might be, I think it's from trees. Actually, why is there rocks and trees? I don't know. There just is, okay. Well, screw you, pillar. 
Screw you again. Again! Oh my god. Well, anyways, you guys know what I'm doing. I'm going to work on getting this finished, and then we're going to go breed some more dire wolves. All right, so we got some stuff going on in this pit. We've got a new, like, uh, I think that's called, like, that's like the Dragonfire Orange or whatever, which looks really good. And obviously we got another gold one in here. But then we got this, which is like, it's different than this. I'm so confused. I'm so lost. I don't know what's going on anymore. Like, it definitely looks different for some reason. Maybe it's not. It's definitely the same color zone, but it just looks more colorful for some reason. Maybe it's on a... Is the body a different color? Is the body lavender? I think the body is lavender. That's why it looks different. Okay. Interesting. And then I believe that is it. Oh, this gold one. Looks like it's got purple feet. It does have purple feet. Interesting. Nice. So we're getting some cross mutations. Not too shabby. I'll go ahead and claim this one too. Let it get grown up. Now we should have some dire wolves over here. Um, how does one get in here is the real question. Um, is this... That, ladies and gentlemen, is the albino white. You can tell it's the albino white. It's either albino white or sky blue. It's a little hard to tell on things with fur. But the albino white is far more... It's like glows, pretty much, when you actually get the albino color. Oh, right. So, I think things have come out really good so far. There's still a little bit of decorating to do and all that fun stuff, like chairs and flowers and stuff. But otherwise, I think it's coming together pretty well. Now... Look at this cave. It's amazing. It's not the best. I'll give you that. But it is pretty cool. I quite enjoy it. I'm going to work a little bit more on it, see if I can change it up a little bit. Uh, if it doesn't end up looking any better, I'll probably just end up bringing it back to what it is now. But otherwise, I, th I like this a lot. It's definitely interesting using the cave or like the rock bits to actually build structures with. It's uh, something new that I really haven't done much, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. But um, I still really feel like there needs to be a big ass tree over here, and I w oh I almost put it in the in the direwolf enclosure, but I'm thinking maybe if I bring it back a little bit, it might actually work here. Mm. Oh, it's in the freaking ah! Oh, we're so close. It's it's inside <laughs> it's inside the beaver pen. Hold on, maybe if we turn it just like that. Oh, all right. It's a little bit in there. It's a little bit in there. You know what? That's fine. We're just going to ignore it because I think it looks really good with a big ass tree in here. Uh, helps if I can type walk. Can I actually? Oh, I screwed the pooch on that one, didn't I? There's no way to get up here. Oh, goodness. Uh, I don't think it works. I mean, it looks. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It's all up inside everything. If it was just a little bit taller, it would work. It would work so well. Maybe if I do it, it... Oh, that's the wrong one. A little bit farther back. Like here. Oh, 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 we had it. I think. Alright, it's going into that a little bit. See, but it's... It's just... I mean, it might be fun to walk through. I don't know. I like the way it looks. So it does go into the enclosure just a little bit. Let's see here. So when you're coming through, that you can go under the tree bits. I don't know. That's kind of cool, don't you think? Walking through the tree a little bit and then around. It kind of blocks the saber's view a little bit, but I don't know. I like the way it, it like gives shadow. I mean, we really can't get much, and the area definitely needs a little bit of something. And I think I like it a lot. So let me know what you guys think of that big tree. If the consensus doesn't like it, and I will take it down. But for now, I'm going to leave it. Let's go see if we can finish off our dire wolves and get this pen complete. I do believe we got triplets of one color. And then we got a san oh, pink. We got a pink dire wolf. Bubbly Wums would love it. Eh. 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 
I can't I can't get to it. All right, dire wolves, you need to to move. Is there one in your butt? Or are you wild? Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 mistakes. Okay, nope, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I can't claim it. Oh, oh, we got it. The victory is ours. Um. Okay, there they are. Okay, so you guys need to clean this mess up. I don't want the brown color. There we go. We still got our baby. Our pink one's good. Everything's fine. Okay, that, oh. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so we're still working on getting a fully mutated dire wolf. We got Pinky in here. Oh, it looks like we got Pinky with blue tips and uh, golden with the magenta. Oh no. Mistakes have, is that a new red color? <gasps> it's beautiful. Okay, we're ghosting. Oh, it's a maze balls. I love it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna touch you. There we go. And then, um, what else do we have up in here? Please don't eat the things before I claim them. I thought I saw. There we go. There's Pinky. Pinky with blue. Nice. Okay, not too shabby. So, and then we got that one. I don't even care about that one. What do we have over here, though? We've got a whole bunch of babies. No mutations to speak of. So we're doing pretty good. Um, I'm feeling like I'm running out of time because I still have to breed up the Packy Rhinos for today's, um, Patreon thingy-maboober, uh, competition. There we go. Patreon breeding competition. Mayhap I'll just build a pen for it. I don't know. I may, I should have time to be breed Packy Rhinos. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But man, do these things need to, I need to get a fully mutated one here ASAP. All right. So I figured you guys would want to see some of the progression. We've got, oh, helps if I face the microphone in my face hole. Um, anyways, let's see here. So what's going on? We've got this pink and red legged one, which is pretty cool. And then we've got salmon in here. Uh, salmon with red legs, I do believe. Which I'm trying to just get the, actually that's salmon with purple legs. Oh, there's salmon with purple or with red legs. We just got that one. Um... And then we got gold with red back now, which I'm trying to turn into a... F well, it's got purple feet, which I don't like, so I'm trying to get a different mutation with that for the feet color. And, um... Oh! Oh, no. No, 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 no. Where'd they go? Where'd my fully mutated ones go? Oh, there we go. Then we've got a magenta and two zones of red. So we've got the magenta back with... Actually, it's two zones of magenta with a red stripe. All right, so we got some more babies walking around in here. I don't think we got any more full mutations. Oh, looks like we got pink, red, and blue. Not the best mutation ever. Uh, I'm still trying to get that gold. Uh, we've already got that mutation. Uh, that's not a full mutation. So I'm really trying to get the... Because we've got the gold and red and purple feet. And then I'm also still trying to finish off this uh, magenta and lavender one. Although, I've got a couple out here that already look good with the magenta. So I've also finished off our salmon one. So it looks like it's all pretty much the same color. But if you look really close, you can see that it's salmon. And then I believe the nose stripe is like that that uh, dragon fire orange that we got earlier. And then the red feet. And then this thing. This ass disaster right here. <laughs> oh, it's so horrendously ugly. But it's a full mutation, so... Yeah. Uh, I just want to try and get that gold one. I think we'll be done. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we have finally done it. So, not a lot of variety with the feet. We did get a lot of red and purple, and I tried... We got a fully mutated one here with the purple. It didn't look good. Um, then we got the red and finally got the red stripe back onto here. And uh, I think it looks pretty good for the golden mutation. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and drag this guy out here with the rest of them. And um, I was going to try and go for the lavender and magenta one, but I've already got a magenta one. So no reason to have more. Hey, Direwolf, could you kindly come out here? Thank you so much. You're a scholar and a gentleman. Um, but yeah, so 
These are all of our mutations. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, this one's pretty pretty ugly, but RN Jesus gives us what RN Jesus wants, and uh, you just don't complain about it. I really do like the salmon one, even though it's like three different colors of red. I don't know. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys, well, this one fully grown, and then we're going to get them put into the fully finished zoo enclosure. Hope you guys are all excited. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fully complete. And it's amazing. I really definitely like this uh, this little cave bit where you can walk in and take a look-see at their little house or whatever. And uh, let's actually go down this way because you guys have already seen the stairs from there. You can see it from this angle, which is nice. And uh, I really like the salmon colored one, which is like, it's like salmon and different types of like orange and red. And it looks really, oh no, they're breeding. <laughs> I need to spay and neuter them. Whoops-a-daisy. It's an important fact I may have overlooked. And we got some nice benches here with a nice light over them, which is pretty cool. And then uh, as you get lower down here, you get lower into the actual pen, obviously. But lower down to the ground so you can actually see them like face to face down here, which is nice. <gasps> Hi. I like this enclosure. And I do like this big tree. It adds a nice shadow to the area, which um, I don't know. I like it quite a bit. It's still... Is this actually inside of the ramp? Oh, no. That tree might not work out there. I don't know. I still like it. I don't care. I'm committed to having this tree here. Unless you all in the comments say to get rid of it, I will get rid of it. Because I listen to my subscribers. <laughs> I also just realized there's no way to get up onto here from down here. Ah, whatever. It is what it is. But anyways, everybody, that is all I've got for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, don't forget to share support, smash that like button, and as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye